roje de va, oh vale, oh roje de va, oh vale, oh roje de va, oh vale. Anisher hachtan tauri, oh roje de va, oh vale, oh roje de va, oh vale, oh roje de va, oh vale. Frank, no spawny. It's Kurishi the Ruiger Holly. Oh, Roger the Va, oh, Wale, oh, Roger the Va, oh, Wale, oh, Roger the Va, oh, Wale. And this share half the Tauri, oh, Roger the Va. Of this, her attitude, her uh, energy is dissipating. She started out with arrogance and laughter towards us, and you could see when those kids joined us for the banner. You could tell it was written all over her face. Yeah, Frustration. Yeah. Oh she my God. Melting. We are we are grooming children with the truth. 
She yeah, said yeah. we were grooming them. She literally yeah. said we were grooming hey, hey, Jabba the Hunt. Hey, do you want to know what's funny? You, you actually managed to red fill Jabba the Nun. What's he saying? I actually managed to red pill Jabba the Hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. too hilarious. Well, why? I wonder why. don't show. It's Jabba the, the, the nun. She's one of the few and far between that will <laughs> actually get on camera and show her face. None of none, none of the rest of them ever do that. No. So look, give her props for that at least. Praise, you know. praise be Jabba the nun. Praise be Jabba the nun. Our number one fan. Every day. And we really appreciate it. If she only knew the laughs that she creates amongst us. I know, yeah, I know. I don't think she'd do it anymore. <laughs> she... oh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the not in there. The library now was brilliant. Yeah. What's that? The one with the library was brilliant. Yeah, with the kids the outside, yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. that one. That was my favorite one so far. So that there seems to be like a, a little bit of it's like respect for Jabba the Nun here. Well, <laughs> when I say she's funny, I wouldn't be um, afraid. You know, anything. It's all lies, and it's funny. Pathetic. Kind of funny I get out of her. The, the, the sad thing is. attention on a on things which are kind of marginal. You know, we, we've forgotten the main purpose of the Irish nation. To meet men and women, to meet love each other, lose children, have another generation. That, we, can't, we can't do that without being having this control. That's where the
All right, man. I'll turn it off.
Whoa. Whoa. Careful there now. Sit. Peter, you'd be probably better off sitting there, there now. Sit down, yeah. there lads because he can't see me. Over here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what about in there? No, over there, look. Yeah. Just here. Right yeah. Really I'd say you'd be all right. Be ready at the stand with the rope. Is there someone ready at the stand?
Hello everybody, we are in Roscommon and um, we're told that this is a very, very woke library, it's closed. I will come over. We are live in Roscommon at the library, just to let people know. Um, we took a trip here. We were told it was closed today, but uh, we're still here, just getting the message out to everybody that there's only two genders. They are giving out the books and stuff in here. This is another library which we will be coming back to and serving with the papers. Um, there's all the lads there, the crew going early this morning. Just to, this is this is how they're celebrating it here, look. So, should we grab a book out of the car or something like that? Oh, good stuff, yeah, yeah. Mike, could you do the honours there? Yeah. So 
Oh yeah, we have a few that we're already familiar with. Uh, yeah. We got the infamous this book is gay. We got what's the tea here, and we got this one for very young from zero to four. Uh, Fred gets dressed. We know. Let's talk about Fred morning. gets dressed there. Okay, right? so. Yeah. 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 So they're like grooming, right? So, so you have a kid. Uh, Trying pictures there. Fred is naked. We go through really quickly. Fred is naked. Little young right. boy just running around the house naked, right? Um, he romps through the house. So what does romps mean, Andy? Isn't that a sexual term? Romp is a sexual term, and it was, you know, I think we went into detail about that. Like, yeah. I mean, who romps? Do you know what I mean? Any time... The royals romp. Uh, yeah, any time there's anything on the news about the, the, the royals being in trouble, being caught sleeping outside of marriage or doing anything, yeah. they've always used the word romp, right. you know? So, so romp used. is a sexual term. Oh, yeah. That's part of the grooming process. Uh, naked and wild and free. Naked, wild and free. Um, he romps around his bedroom and crosses the hall um, and into mom and dad's bedroom. Fred might never get dressed. Fred might never get dressed. Like, what? It, I, mean, I mean, what kind of nonsense is this? But what's this? Fred has stopped romping. He peeks into mom and dad's wardrobe and he walks through the door. Fred looks at dad's side of the wardrobe. He thinks about the way dad dresses. It might be fun to dress like that, so Fred carefully picks out a shirt and tie and a pair of shoes, but he has trouble putting them on. Fred looks at mom's side of the wardrobe. He thinks about mom the way mom dresses. It might be fun to dress like mom, so Fred carefully picks out a blouse and a scarf and a pair of shoes. He has no trouble putting them on. How come he has no trouble putting no, on mom's clothes? No trouble putting them. Look, and they all fit perfectly. Yeah, look look like at that little dress. Tailored, tailored I mean, made. like, how, how big is this man? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like tailor made uh, for the kid. Uh, but he has no. But he's not finished yet. What does he do next? He walks he looks out. He looks out of the wardrobe and over to mom's table. I'm sure he's going to find uh, makeup or something. The shoes he is wearing are big and wobbly, so he has to go slow. Um. Fred picks through mom's jewelry box and makeup drawer. He thinks about how mom's different styles. Now Fred is a boy, by the way. That's lads. putting thoughts into kids' heads. Fred you know? knows what to do with the jewelry, but what about these things? I mean, what's these things for? So his lipstick, he tries to put it on. Look, his mom and dad look very concerned. I'm sure they're about to help him and encourage him. They're all smiling and it's hey, all normal. Hey, 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 mom picks out. Can I read out the One second there, Alan. We're oh, hold there. on, Alan. If just two seconds, right. then we'll come to Mom you. Mom right? picks no out the different cases and tubes of brushes. She finally is doing her makeup and her hair. Fred watches closely and follows along. Look at this. They're telling a little boy how to put on lipstick and makeup and all the rest of it, huh? How to comb your hair like a girl. The whole family joins the fun. Even Dad gets puts on jewelry. Now Fred is dressed huh? like a little girl, dressed like a little girl. Right, and then, uh, well, mostly dressed. Mostly dressed. And they're running around like this is pure sexualization of children. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alan wanted to say something there. Banner. Yeah, hold the banner Banner. out there and and he'll come over to you. Yeah, good man. What what, what does romping mean in slang? Uh, To engage in playful or or boisterous sex. Yeah, so that's the definition of of romping. Yeah. And this is for Uh, zero to four. Informal, informal, engage in sexual. Activity, especially illicit. Yeah, maybe illicit which, sexual, which, which is essentially paedophilia. Yeah, like uh, yeah, if, if, if it's only form of sex, that that would have a child. Mm. It's, mm. it's just being part of sex. So it, it's it's actually disgusting that they'd even use that term in a book, like uh, especially a sexual term. Yeah, like and, and try to pass that off as just. Yeah. So, so, so how many times is that one word used in that book? Uh, about four or five. Yeah, like it's, it's used over and over and over again. So, so like it is obviously used as slang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and this is one of the first book that children are going to read. This is how they are sexualizing the youth. You know, I mean, it's completely perverse. We know all about what's in these yeah, books. We've, we've read these times. books out many a times, and you will hear more about these books today, um, as we're continuing our sovereign voyage up the Shannon River. You know. Um, well done, lads, for yeah. this morning. Well done. We've been. I just want to pick up one little thing there, yeah. Andy, about the books. Yeah, go um, ahead. They were on Ireland AM, and the, the amount of lies it was lie after lie. Yeah. And one of the the main lies that they oh, yeah. were portraying was that we were, um, if we had a copy of the book in our hands, we wouldn't be able to point out what we have on our flyers and leaflets. Yeah. So here we are today. We're going to prove that one wrong. We are going to prove that one wrong today. We're going to focus a lot on these books today. 
So there will be more live streams coming to you throughout the day. So stay tuned and um, uh, please like and share these and post them around. You know, help beat the censorship on Facebook. You're still... I've got four days left. Four days left yeah. on, his, on his ban and stuff like that. So we are trying to, you know, we need you to share, share, share and get this information out to people, you know. So um, on to the next place now. We're going to yeah, go and yeah. probably do a hold the line and stuff like that and get the leaflets passed around. We passed out lots of leaflets over the past couple of days now, yeah, really, especially yeah, in that loan. We, we got rid of, I mean, it was a couple of boxes that went in that loan, I think, nearly yeah, at this stage. Yeah. So we're really happy with that. And we're looking forward to making our way up to Carrick and Shannon. Yes, and, yeah. Been, and, and, and it has been a, a majority support so far. Yes, it has. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Like, especially it has been down, majority yeah. support. Down to Aaron, Aaron here, if you could just come up there a little bit there. Aaron, yep. Did you hear what was in the contents of the book there that we just read out? I did indeed, yeah. It's and quite shocking really, Andy, isn't it? And the word romp. Yeah. You know, uh, Alan just got the definition up saying that like it's it's hey. mostly... Cheers, man. Cheers, Cheers guys. Genders. There's only two genders. Turn around genders. there, get there. Yeah. Cheers, you. man. Yeah, man, uh, I heard him, Andy, and I heard him describe the definition of it. But you... Um, you mentioned the fact that I actually, I think I was in England at the time actually when, when one of those scandals happened and you correctly, you correctly mentioned that uh, the royal family were referred to on their affairs and yeah. romping, yeah, romping. I, got your romping, romping. I, I got the point you made, but I hadn't actually seen exactly what was in that book, I'd heard of the book of course uh, from yeah. yourself and Ross in the past, but I hadn't seen the contents of that book myself even. Yeah. And, uh, Zero to four, was it, Ross? Yeah. Zero to four years of age. Yeah. Zero to four. Like they, they are going after your babies, not just your children. They're going after your babies, and they want to get this into their brains at such a young age. Yeah, it's, it's terrible, like, you know. They're confusing the child as soon as it's come out of the womb. Yeah. But yeah. today, today you know, essentially what it is. Today, Ross, as Andy said, and as I'm delighted you mentioned, and again refer to Ireland AM, um, today the, a lot of focus on plans that Andy has made for the campaign and for progression up, up to Shannon of course, but you, you're going to see Ross and Andy mentioning quite a lot of things today about the book yeah. and indeed the focus will be on the Sovereign Voyage, getting up to Shannon and getting to speak to as many people as we can on the voyage so far but uh, we started as we mean to go on Andy, yeah. Andy had us up nice and early this morning and uh, I, I think last one up. Andy, uh, <laughs> come on, we have to make him look good. It was actually, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it was brilliant and uh, I, I, absolutely fantastic reception, as we always said in that loan. And I'm looking forward to the day and uh, Andy's focus and yeah. Ross's focus on uh, this book is gay in particular. And you mentioned uh, the other book you have in your hand there. This book is gay and what's the tea? These are the two books we've been mainly targeting in the libraries that are promoting dating apps to children at the age of 12 years of age and all sorts of stuff. We have them all bookmarked. They were saying in Ireland AM that uh, if we had a book in front of us, it wouldn't be in us. They're trying to say that we are photocop photoshopping the books. Now, we have the books here. So later on today, you will see us going through these books um, at different locations. So um, I'd also like to say, you know, We've been on the road now. This is our 11th day. We thought we would have been finished by now. Um, but it's a lot of work that's going into this. You know, we are down to the literally, we're, we're down to the pennies in our pockets at the yeah, moment. Yeah. So if anybody wants to try and help us out, we really could do with a little bit of help. And uh, I left a link in the description where you can revolute us and help keep us on the river so that we can finish the Sovereign Voyage strong. We really want to finish strong, you know, and we, we're going to keep going one way or another. So thanks everybody. We're going to leave it at that for here, and we because we have to get moving. We're under serious time pressure today. Erin Gabra. Erin Gabra. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We can forget about that. We can let that one go. Right, we will. Yeah. Andy, just hold. Andy, just hold on for a second. I just want to check. Okay. Okay. You usually say that at the very last minute when I'm just kicking off and I nearly drown myself <laughs> trying to save us. <laughs> Thanks Peter, appreciate it, yes. Thank you. Thank you.
Fair play to Peter. Come by us. Learn, Pete.
We are sailing. I'll move up here now. That looks cool, doesn't it, man? Yeah. I don't, yeah. Aaron, Aaron and Alan, you Wait. can actually tie off your top ropes if you wanted to. Okay. You know, I think we're going faster. Yeah, there's good pull in that. Can you feel the pull? Oh, you can feel it, yeah. Give you a bit of an extra pull, all right? Not much because there's... I tell you, they'll see it's coming with that. What do you think about the library being closed for a whole week so that they have to avoid uh, being served child protection notice? No, Andy, I, I, what I think about that is I, I think that the unforeseen closures of these libraries are in preparation to be challenged by yourself and I, I, I'm well aware of that. I think it's scandalous that they have gone to, the, gone to the extent that they have gone to closing the library for the access to the public, children, anyone who needs it just for the sake of argument Aaron, that you're bringing a campaign point. If you can tie off that top rope, feel free to do it. No problem. But that's I, right. I, I think they're enjoying the sailing. <laughs> they, they want to hold the rope for now and anyway, get up the river and they'll ah, tie it off there. <laughs> get you to but where it looks fun, you know. Oh, it's brilliant, It's Andy. like flying a kite, you know. Get you to where you need to go as quick yeah, as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are catching wind there. We are, yeah. oh, look at it, sure. If we were to paint that, we'd catch more wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, it's doing the job. Yeah, I think myself personally that it's absolutely shocking that they are completely avoid in the situation Absolutely. they're showing they don't want to engage yeah you know and i think it's a show of guilt it's a sign of guilt of course it is Andy. they're not open to debate they're not open to have their opinion challenged nobody is saying anyone is wrong or right everyone is entitled to an opinion yeah and i i simply believe that the challenge and the questions being asked very logical very simple and i just don't understand why they can't debate you ross many others like ye many others with opinions as you say Andy is there guilt is there something behind this that they just don't want the public or anyone to be talking about yeah you know, yeah I have questions lots of them exactly and we need answers you know and that's all we're trying to get is some answers and and uh, a bit of recognition to what's going on in these books you know other than the the slander that they're giving us because that's the only engagement we're getting you know seems to be yeah yeah oh there's a bit there's there's shield wall I used to say there's customers coming, but now it's shield wall. Shield wall. <laughs> Here, I let you take that, Mike, since you're you're on camera. Whoa! They're already looking. 
They see the sails. Aaron, yes. put your top one back a bit. Yeah. Then we've got to catch the wind from the side of it. That's good. Yeah.
leave you at that. Thank you. 